In this video, you will learn how to create a registration form with an image using VBA. The form is created in Excel and without using user form. You will also learn how to find data from an Excel spreadsheet. To get started open Microsoft Excel and save a workbook that supports macros. Click the File tab and then choose Save As. It is better to save the workbook and the pictures in the same folder. So, create a new folder. Enter a name and click the Save As Type drop-down arrow. Select Excel Macro Enabled Workbook. Excel adds the XLSM extension to the file name. Click Save. The Developer tab isn't displayed by default, but you can add it to the ribbon. Right-click on any tab. Then, select Customize the ribbon. Select the Developer checkbox and click OK. The Developer tab is now visible. Rename the worksheet. Now, we are going to create a simple form without using user form. So, we are going to use certain cells of the sheet to enter the captions of the form and other cells for the input. The form contains five fields. The first four fields ask for the contact name, email, phone number and country of residence. The fifth field will allow the user to search by contact name. On the Developer tab, in the Controls group, click Insert, and then under Active X Controls, click Image. Click the worksheet location where you want the upper left corner of the image control to appear. Make sure Excel is in Design Mode. On the Developer tab, in the Controls group, activate Design Mode. Next, click Properties. You can also right-click the control, and then click Properties. Modify the picture size mode property which specifies how to display the background image on a control. Select FM picture size mode stretch. FM picture size mode stretch stretches the picture to fill the form or page. This setting distorts the picture in either the horizontal or vertical direction. Now, let's add four command buttons. In the Active X controls group, click command button to insert a command button control. Click Properties to change the button's name, caption, and background color. Likewise, add the other three buttons. Here is the result. Grid lines are the faint lines that appear between cells on a worksheet. For design reasons we are going to hide the grid lines. So, on the View tab, in the Show group, clear the Grid Lines checkbox. At the end of this part, we'll hide the columns and rows that we don't need. First, select Column L. Then press Ctrl plus Shift plus right arrow to select all the columns that are to the right of Column L. Finally, right-click on the selected columns and select Hide. Likewise, we are going to hide all the lines that are below the 20th line. Select this row. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus the down arrow to select all rows below row 20. Right click on the selected lines then select Hide. Now, select the plus icon at the bottom of the screen to insert a new worksheet. Name it Data. It is in this sheet that we will save the data entered by the user via the form. So each column header name corresponds to an input in the form on sheet 1. Name the column header e image. This is where you will save the path to the images. In this step, let's write the VBA code. 
we start by programming the Add Picture button to display the image in the control. This button will open a dialog box to find and open an image. Double click on the command button to open the VBA editor window. We start the code of this button with the instruction on error resume next. So, when a runtime error occurs, control passes to the instruction immediately following the instruction where the error occurred and execution continues. Next, declare an image path variable of type string. Then, Use the getOpenFileName method and assign the value that this method returns to the image path variable. The getOpenFileName method displays the open dialog box but will not actually open the file. This method will return a string value specifying the path and file name that were selected. The file filter argument determines the types of files that will be displayed in the files of type drop-down list. So, use image extensions in this argument. The title argument shows the select file dialog box title. If the user chooses a file name, the code loads the image into the image box. The method used is load picture. In between the round brackets of load picture we have the image path. Then, display the image object. Save. Turn off design mode. Then, click the add picture button to test the code. The second button to be programmed is the save button. It allows you to save the data entered by the user in the form. The recording of these data is done in sheet 2. For the image we will save it in the folder created previously and at the same time keep its path in sheet 2. Make sure Excel is in design view. Then double click the save button to display the visual basic editor. Before recording the data, you must verify that all the fields are not empty. If the value in cell E7 is empty, then display an alert using the MSG box function. Do the same with cells E9, E11 and E13 to verify that the email, phone, and country fields are not empty. Create a last row variable of type long and a pick path variable of type string. Now, in that long last row, select the maximum range till where our data could go up. Here we have taken as a 1000 cell range. The use of 1000 to identify the last row is for illustration purposes only, do not code constants into a program as the last row. Instead use rows.count. And for going up till our data starts, use end, XL up, followed by a dot row. Which means we will be moving up in the same column till that row which has the data. Add plus 1 to get the number of the first empty row. We now know where the data should go and where the next empty row is. Next, we just need to take the data from the input worksheet and put it into the data worksheet. Here is how it's done with the contact name field. This code says where the data should go on the sheet 2 worksheet. Last row indicates in which row the data will be placed. A is the column where the data will go. The value of the contact name will go in column A. The value of email will go in column B. The value of phone will go in column C. Finally, the value of country will go in column D. Now, add the lines of code that will save the image in the folder where your workbook is located. At the same time, the path to this image is saved in sheet 2. We are going to save the loaded image with the name which is in cell E7, and which represents the name of the contact. So, assign the value of cell E7 to the variable name pick. Next. Use the Save a Picture function to save a graphic image from an object's picture or image property to a file. 
The first argument is the object reference stored in the picture property of a control. The second argument is a valid file name and path to store the picture. So, this workbook.path returns a string that represents the full path to the workbook. Then, a backslash followed by the name of the image with the extension jpg. Assign this string to the pick path variable. Finally, save the path to the image in sheet 2. More precisely in the cell whose row number is last row, and the name of its column is E. Once the registration is complete, display the message save success. Save and test code. The job is done. The data is present in the data sheet. And the picture is in the working folder. Note here that the image is saved under the name Hey Kel. And it is the same as the name of the contact. Now, we are going to clear the filled data from the form after saving the data. For the image, we will replace it with this one. Double click on the save button to open the VBA editor. We start by emptying cell E7 of the form. Then, we do the same thing again for the other input fields. At this point, we will place the image chosen previously in the working folder. This is the same place where we keep all the files. We named this image no picture. And the path to access it is D backslash data entry form backslash no picture dot jpg. Now, save this path in cell A19. In the code part, create the pick clear variable. Then, Assign to this variable the content of cell A19 of sheet 1. So, pick clear will contain the path of the no picture image. Use the load picture method to load the image into an image control. Finally, display this image. We will use this same code in the clear button. Save. Let's test this code. We start with the clear button. It's good. The form has been cleared. Let's test the save button again. Registration success. The form has been cleared. The data is present in the data sheet and the image is in the save folder. So, it's all right. The search button is the last button to program. So, the user enters the name in the search box, then he clicks on the search button. If the contact exists, then the information relating to this person appears in the input fields. Otherwise, a message informs the user that the contact does not exist. The Microsoft Excel match function searches for a value in an array and returns the relative position of that item. In this example, we will use the match function to get the position of the word Marta in the cells of column A. The first argument is the value to search for in the array. The second argument is the range of cells that contains the value that you are searching for. The third argument is optional. It the type of match that the function will perform. It can be any one of these values, 1, 0, minus 1. The match type argument, when setting to 0, returns the exact match, while the other two types of values allow for an approximate match. Match returns 3, since Mara is the third element. Let's modify the value to search for. The match function does not distinguish between upper and lower case when searching for a match. 
Now, let's replace the text value with a cell reference. Which makes, in the formula, the lookup value comes from cell D4. Match returns this error if there is no match is found. If we write Philip in cell D4, the match function returns the value 4. Let's go back to sheet 2 of our workbook, where we will write the match function in cell F1. The first argument which is the lookup value comes from cell G1. Since the search is done by contact name, then we must look for this name in column A. Finally, we choose the argument match type on 0, in order to have an exact match. The idea here is that when the user writes a name in the search box, cell D3 and then clicks the search button, then the value from cell D3 in the form is copied to the cell G1 of sheet 2. Automatically the match function runs with the new contents of cell G1 and returns a numeric value if the name exists. Otherwise, it returns an error. Double-click the search button to open the code. Create an L search variable of integer type. Then add this line to assign the value of cell D3 of the form sheet to cell G1 of the data sheet. Now we know very well the line where the record we are looking for is located. All that remains is to copy the cells belonging to this row into the cells of the form. Copy the cell from column A into the contact name field. Copy the cell from column B into the email field. Copy the cell from column C into the phone field. And copy the cell from column D into the country field. In the cell of column E we have the path to the image of the person we are looking for. So we use this path to navigate to the desired image and later display it in an active X control. Back to the code part. If the match function returns a numeric value, assign that value to the search variable. Next, put in cell E7 of the form the value of the cell whose row number is search and column name is A. Do the same process to fill in the other cells of the form. Now assign in the pick search variable the path to the image of the contact you are looking for. Then, use the load picture method which takes the pick search variable as an argument to load the image into the image control. Finally, the case where the match function returns an error must be handled. So if so, show a message that the contact does not exist. Let's test this code. This text field is not empty, so you can add a line of code in the clear, and save buttons to clear it. Thank you for watching.